Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this episode, we'll be looking at the effect or the consequences of a uterostomy and lymphedema on diving. Keep watching. We got a question from a diver regarding a uterostomy and a lymphedema consequence or the presence of lymphedema, which is swelling of the leg as a result of the accumulation of lymph. Now, what I need to read between the lines here is that this individual probably had a malignancy and it could have been in the uterus, in the cervix or in the lymph glands and that they received surgery that has now led to blockage of drainage related to lymph back into the lymphatic circulation. And in addition, it required surgical removal of organs that influence the ureters and they're very deep, almost near the spine. And therefore it's a very deep surgical procedure. And then it was brought to the surface of the abdomen to allow them to uh, essentially urinate into a bag. Now my bigger concern is what the underlying reason is. In other words, what is the cancer? What was the surgery that was done? How long is it since the surgery was done? What medications were used? Because some of the medications aren't only a problem during the treatment for cancer, but they can even have some long-term effects of which Bleomycin is very important because it can cause lung fibrosis and doxorubicin or adriamycin may weaken the heart. So it's very important that this individual be assessed by the urologist, by the gynecologist, by the oncologist and possibly by a specialist physician in terms of exercise tolerance and all of that then be brought to the diving physician to bring it all together into a final assessment of whether or not it's worthwhile. I hope that it will be, but there are fairly, fairly good reasons why it may not be the best thing for you to go diving. For the rest of you, until next time, safe diving.